Hello there. It's Frank Conniff for Salon.com. And have you been reading Salon this week? Lots of great articles, like there was one by the great Glenn Greenwald, very critical of Brian Williams and his Inside the Situation Room, the hunt for Osama bin Laden special. You know, personally, I've always had a resentment towards Brian Williams ever since Holly Hunter chose him over Albert Brooks in broadcast news. But it's not as if NBC isn't self-reflective. Next week, they're doing an in-depth look at nepotism in TV news reported by Luke Russert. So that should be really interesting. And, oh, there was also an article by Joan Walsh in which she, in which she expressed her solidarity with Rachel Maddow over the fact that there is great income disparity in our society between men and women, even though Republicans say that doesn't exist, but it does. I'll give you another example. Did you know that the women who aren't paid to write blogs for the Huffington Post get only 73% of what the men who aren't paid to write blogs for the Huffington Post don't get? It's true. Oh, and there was also an article by uh, Mary Elizabeth Williams about this guy, Joe Cowley, who apparently revealed himself to be a sexist douchebag on Twitter, and then he tried to make it all go away by deleting all of his tweets. And Mary Elizabeth Williams made the point that you can't do that. Once you've put something on the Internet, it's there forever, and there's nothing you can do about it. I guess the point is, don't be a twit when you tweet. <laughs> Oh my God, that's a horrible joke. How do I delete this? Make it go away. No, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't you ever look at me. Mommy, mommy. Mommy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>